Autonomous underway for this match. Right away, the two robots working out of the initiation line are Nick in red, and it looks like Terminator or Brian in blue. All three of those blue robots back in the same position, working on scoring in the power port for the blue alliance. Autonomous now over a very slight blue alliance lead. It looks like that comes down to just one or two power cells going through the inner port of their power port as opposed to the outer port. Just like in Infinite Recharge, whether you can see it or not, there is a small inner port inside that high goal that you see above the robots on the playing field floor. Putting one power cell through the inner portion of that goal is worth three points. Falling outside of it is worth two. And in autonomous, those score values are doubled, just like a real match, even though there is no true autonomous period in our sim champ. A minute and a half remains in this match. The Blue Alliance does have the lead 159 to 138 at the moment. We do see some tight defense, though. A member of the Blue Alliance sticking tight to Adam in red. For the Blue Alliance, that was Josh playing some defense, being very careful to not have the circle around their robot completely close after five seconds of contact. We do see another bit of a mush between two robots, red and blue, on the Red Alliance sector portion of the field where those Blue Alliance robots are scoring. One minute remaining in the match, still a Blue Alliance lead, 228 to 202. Red working on getting that lead back, though. Ryan putting up at least two points apiece with those power cells in the outer or inner port. Their two alliance partners, Adam and Nick, down near the Red Alliance loading zone. They're shuttling those power cells back toward the Red Alliance power port. Up now, Nick for the Red Alliance, adding at least six points to that Red Alliance score. The Blue Alliance is approaching that ranking point. 90 power cells is all that an alliance needs in order to energize their shield generator. The Blue Alliance has now done that. There are no generator stages in our simulated version of Infinite Recharge. 90 power cells is all that is needed. 20 seconds remaining in the match, end game well underway, but Blue is going to prioritize stretching their lead. Josh and Brian emptying their hopper before racing back to the rendezvous. Nick in red is doing the same, a tight score coming down to the climb, but they have plenty of time to pull it off in the final three, two, one. And that will be the end of qualification match number 33 of the 45 we will be playing here tonight. Score breakdown for that match indicating a Blue Alliance victory 416 to 384. Blue Alliance is going to go home with all four ranking points. Red Alliance is not going home empty handed. They've scored 95 power cells and 75 points in endgame. So they score two ranking points of their own. In a moment, we will transition to the technology server. We are going to have on the Red Alliance, Matt L, Wan Yang, and Brennan 4476. Facing them in blue, Shaq waxed and Andrew F. Thanks for watching. If you want more fun content, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. You can also directly help support fun by visiting our Patreon at patreon.com forward slash first updates now or by subscribing at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Thanks to all of our co-executive producers on Patreon and tier two plus subscribers on Twitch keeping fun loud, live, and independent.